platform is different and the way that you are telling your story or the way that you are putting your content out there has to match the platform that you're on. So you have decided that LinkedIn is the place for you on social media right now, but you've got everything set up and you've got everything going, but you don't know what to post. What are you gonna post to LinkedIn? Today, I'm going to give you my five things that you can post to LinkedIn. Number one is you can post an inspirational or businessy type quote. Now this one's fairly easy. There's quotes all over the internet. You can post an, an excerpt from a book that you've read, maybe one from, uh, maybe you read one in a blog, you were listening to a podcast one day, post it. Now, number two of things that you can post to LinkedIn, and this one is what I see do pretty much the best all, of, all around on LinkedIn, probably one of the best um, pieces of content that um, gets the most traction, is statements or lessons learned in your business or some tips or advice. And I'm not talking about um, tweetable tips like 140 characters. I'm talking um, probably three to four sentences, maybe a little bit longer depending on what the subject is and depending on how interesting it is. And design these lessons for the connections that you have. So if mainly your connections and your network is made up of people in your industry, then make it related towards them, something that they would want to know. Or if it's for your leads, make it a lesson that would be valuable to them. These are really valuable and get a lot of traction because you don't have to leave the platform to get the information. So it doesn't link out to your blog. It's just a quick read it here and then they can actually interact without having to do too much. They can actually comment, they can like it, and they actually um, got the value right there on the platform. Um, number three would be to actually link to your blog. Now, if you're going to link to your blog, be sure that you are typing a summary um, of the content that they're going to be getting there, or at least a little teaser text. Um, Still keep it uh, linked in two to three sentences for this summary that goes along with the link to your blog post, your podcast, or your video content. Now, another thing that you can do and that I highly suggest if you get the time and if you are trying to really stand out on LinkedIn is you need to turn your blog content into native LinkedIn content. So what you can do is you can actually write articles on LinkedIn. So, face, so really all you have to do is go and copy your blog post and post it directly to LinkedIn as an article and it lets you add a picture. You can actually link back to the blog if you want to and you can add the title and um, you can actually add other pictures and resources in there as well. So definitely do that because what it does is it actually notifies some of your connections after you post it and then it actually stays, each article that you put out on LinkedIn stays on your actual LinkedIn profile as well. So those are very useful and they actually do better in the algorithm for LinkedIn than it would to be, uh, than an actual link would um, out to your blog. They want people to stay on their platform, not just go to yours. So definitely experiment with that and if you have time, do it for everything. Write a summary over your video, Do your put your podcast notes there, whatever you have to do to make that happen. So number four would be to share other people's content. Um, so other blog posts that you find useful or that you think that your target audience would find useful or your actual connections and network on LinkedIn. Um, some people I know use LinkedIn um, solely for personal branding and networking purposes. They actually don't get as many leads for their business. So if that's the reason you're actually using LinkedIn, then definitely um, industry news, um, you can post there. Um, YouTube links actually work really well with LinkedIn. Um, so definitely put those there as those there as well. That way you're not just pushing your own content too, you're pushing other people's content and other things that you find useful as well. So number five, 
I'm gonna throw you off guard is things not to post on LinkedIn. So those four that we did go over was an inspirational quote, a statement or lesson that's about a paragraph long. You can post your own content, either a link or posting natively to the platform as a LinkedIn article or you can also post other people's content. We are going to talk about is what not to post there. Do not post your family photos. Do not post personal anything, really, unless it has to do a lot with your business. Um, also, do not post memes. Don't post anything that's really funny. I mean, you can post funny stuff or that's maybe witty, but I would, not do that. When people are scrolling through LinkedIn or hanging out there and spending their time there, they are there for business and professional reasons. All right, those are my five things to post and not to post to LinkedIn. Uh, if you liked this video, um, don't just give me a thumbs up, please. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, what, would, what do you post to LinkedIn? Uh, what do you suggest? people post to LinkedIn and also what industry are you in and what are you posting? What do you see is doing well? Um, please let us all know in the comment section below. If you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel. I post videos weekly. I normally have been posting on Tuesdays, but it seems to um, be going a little bit better on Wednesdays or Thursdays. I will pick an exact date uh, probably in the week in the next couple of weeks. I will see y'all next week.